We're gonna drop that lower oil pan and you get to place your bets to see if there are time and chain guides in the bottom of this thing. My money is on that the time and chain guides are actually fine. This has approximately a quarter million miles on it and as you can tell by the completely valid license plates, this car has been driven all of about 200 miles in the last eight years. A little bit of a backstory on this car. I've owned it since 2012. It's my second BMW ever. And I put about 100,000 miles on it. I bought it with 135,000 on it, so I guess a little bit more than that. The odometer mileage on this car is not accurate because the wheel speed sensor died on it and I drove it about a year and a half without a speedometer. So. <laughs> Here you go, you can't even read it. The pixels are completely burnt out on this thing. But I think it's 230 something. I haven't even started the car in over a year until I brought it into the shop. The clutch needs some work. And uh, I haven't changed the oil on it, except I think when I first moved in, I'm pretty sure I changed the oil. If I didn't change it then, then it's had the same oil on it for eight years. If I did change it, it's five or six years. We're gonna go ahead, uh, drain the oil on this thing. Then we're gonna drop that lower oil pan and you get to place your bets to see if there are time and chain guides in the bottom of this thing. My money is on that the time and chain guides are actually fine. All right, here's the moon or truth. Drain our oil. Okay. That oil looks fine. Just to show you the color, shining my light through it. So it looks a little bit brown in that light, but it's really not that bad. And I'll go ahead and throw the camera over here as we take this oil pan off. It's just all these bolts right around here. And we can disconnect the level sensor. Okay, all these bolts are 10 millimeters. So we're gonna start taking them out, make sure it's in the right direction. Okay, two bolts left. Make sure this won't make a huge mess. Nothing's holding that in. We're gonna wrap it. I have a dead blow. I'm gonna move the dead blow so I don't damage it. That worked really well. Really, really well. Okay, so I managed to spill this all over the garage. This uh, pan is actually a lot heavier than I expected. I'm used to dealing with the aluminum pans. They come right off, you can hold them. All right, well, let's check out the inside of this engine. You can see there's the oil pump right here, the oil pump chain. Then we got our main chains up there. And everything looks clean so far, but I can see the aluminum guide. It's got plastic on it. You can see the guide right here. It's got plastic on it as well. So there's no broken pieces down here. And um, well, this is what the floor looks like, but there's no pieces on the floor either. And here's our pan right there. 
So it doesn't even really have any sludge or anything in the bottom. That's just the old oil that hasn't drained out yet and a lot of it kind of landed over here, of course. I saw someone online posting that their 540 had the rails intact the way that mine are, except the inner U rail had failed. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this bore scope that I just got and we're gonna go up inside the engine and I'll take you along with me so you can see exactly what I'm seeing. Okay, right here, I can see in person, there's something. It's gotta be about the right area. Okay, so we can see the chain. Real question is, and that looks like a rail. Tell me that's not a rail. Right up here, that is a rail. So it's still there. So we proved the rails are still in this. They might not be perfect. It looks like that one might be slightly broken at the very end. However, everything that contacts the chain is still intact. This thing has a lot of miles on it. Now, the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna get this pan back on, then I'm gonna start working on the clutch. Here's the pan all clean, at least on the inside. And as you might expect, I did bend it. Right here, I tried to bend it back a little bit with a pair of pliers. This is now a little bit pronounced, but I think it will seal. If not, worst case scenario, I have to get a new one. You can see the gasket itself actually seals on the inside, and I think all that's fine. So we're gonna go ahead and put it in. Now the big thing here is you don't put these in with a impact, do it all by hand. Now you can get these threaded, like just started like that by hand, follow up with the impact on the lowest setting, and then you torque on the final spec by hand again. And if you could hear this, this did not click once. So these are not a final torque. Let's see, I don't know what that is. Pan bolts are 10 Newton meters. Okay. All right, battery's dying. The pan is on. If you like this content, please like and subscribe. We know this 250,000 mile 540 is perfectly fine to drive now.